Hey guys, this is Public here, back with another video. This one's going to be a little different. Usually we do mostly WoW stuff on the channel, but we figured we'd go over how the guild is using Discord and how we think this is an advantage. I think Cody's covered this a bit in the past, but I think in general, being connected with the team outside of just the game is pretty important, especially for a guild like ours where we only raid two days a week. So that means most of the time out of the week, we are in zero communication with our team, out like... Uh, not in the game, right? So we're only playing six hours a week, and then, of course, we're on every now and then, but, like, as a team, we're never here all together. So our solution for that is to use Discord. Um, we used things like Slack before in the past, and Discord is just the latest thing that we've tried. Um, the reason why we went with Discord is that it's a free solution, first of all, and the cool thing is is that it integrates all the chat functionality that you'd love to have, as well as voice functionality. So we don't need TeamSpeak, we don't need Vent, any of that stuff. We can use just Discord for all of that, which is pretty cool. Um, so some people have asked how we've set this up. Um, you should be able to see, yeah, most of the channels are displayed. So we've kind of, I don't want to go too in-depth on this just because it's very much something for you to do as a guild. This is what you want to go with. But um, I highly re recommend having some sort of an announcements channel. Um, in general, this is just for... Uh, whatever you want to tell your guild, right? Like you're changing the raid schedule um, or you have to do something differently tonight, things like that. Um, so we have a welcome channel for this. We have some private links in there, so I don't want to show that exactly. Um, and then outside of that, we have a guild chat. This chat is for just like general things. So for anyone that's in the Exiled Power Discord, they have access to this channel. That's how we set this up. Um, and then we also have a rating channel, which has some more sensitive things in it. This is for only those users that are our mythic team um, so you can see kind of on the right hand side we have officers senior raiders mythic raiders we have some bots which we'll get into in a second and then we also have some other um, ranks as well um, so the rating channel is just for those that are in the raid team uh, we have senior raiders this is the channel for those that are this is the rank one below officer um, they kind of help us as the the in-between for our team to get to know what we need as officers um, then our officer channel, like I said, just for officer stuff. Um, these channels are actually pretty easy to set up in Discord. If you're in permissions, you essentially, um, in the at everyone role, you just want to make it so that um, it's all X'd out. You can just click it once um, to get the X. And then, um, actually, probably don't need that. And then whatever rank in Discord you want to be able to see it, then you just check the boxes that you want. And that's as simple as that. So. And that's how that works. Um, so the same thing with that. We have an Overwatch channel for that kind of thing. Um, we have a creator channel for people that are working on these YouTube videos with us. Uh, we have a chat for music just to list out music stuff and things like that. I have a developer's channel. This is mainly for me to work on my, my bot stuff. And then we have like theory crafting channels where we go over just if people have questions on how to play a class or do things like that. That's where they'll ask this. And then we have a, two specific channels for hunters and healing. Um, so it's something that our guild decided to do. Um, we essentially, if you want to get added into a channel, we have a role for that channel. So um, if you want to get into the Overwatch channel, you would essentially add the Overwatch role to that person, and then they can see that channel. Um, and like the role does nothing other than that, and that's just how we have it set up. So if you go and you look at Overwatch, the Overwatch people are the ones that can see it. We also have officers in every channel just as a baseline so we can see everything and monitor what's happening. Um, I highly recommend doing this just because you don't, if you want to have like private conversations about it, they can take that to a private message. You don't want to have like drama popping up in the middle of the channel, right? So you want to be able to see that. Um, and then, like I said, we just have our normal voice channels. Nothing crazy with permissions here. It's very set up almost exactly like we have our text channels as well. Um, so yeah, and something else if you want to just kind of play around with in terms of server settings, it's just kind of a fun thing to add class colors. So we also have roles for each class color. That way you can kind of mimic what you see in guild. So if you're a priest, it shows up white. If you're a death knight, you get that red. It's just kind of a fun thing to do. Um, one thing to mention, if you, for all the, excuse me, for all the priests in your guild, um, the white doesn't show up very well if they're using the white theme. I can kind of show you this. Um... If I can figure, remember how to, ch you can change your theme under appearance. Do you have this uh, dark or the white theme? So if I'm on the white theme, see, it's really, really difficult to read that white. So if it's white, you actually can't read it at all. So I personally hate the white theme. I, I, I much, much prefer the darker one, but 
again, just a note. So we made the, the priest color um, kind of like a darker gray for that reason. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, and, and one other thing, uh, let's see if there's any other server settings I want to, we also have, as far as instant invites go, if you want to invite people, we have one that is, um, just a general one that, like, anyone can use, and then, uh, we also put one, like, in the in-game guild chat for people to use as well, so it's just helpful to have these, but you want to kind of limit the permissions of certain roles, so, like, if you're just a, let me see, is it, uh, oh, what server? So in roles, if they're just a like a normal mythic raider or whatever, you want them to have like basic permissions, but you don't want them to like kick people out or do any of this kind of stuff. So talk with your officers in your guild if you are setting this up for the first time about how you want to handle this. But you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. Um, that's again just kind of up to you and your team how you want to handle it. Um, and then also some just cool things you can do with bots. Um, Discord has really, if you have any programmers in your guild, you can do a lot of fun stuff with this. So um, for us, uh, we have a bunch of these commands that you can see on the screen here. So a lot of it's just like linking to other things. Um, one of the ones that's used most often is just doing like roster and the bot will display the roster and things like that. So if you have specific questions, uh, the source code for these bots will be linked in the description below. Um, there is kind of a get started guide on there, but um, I'll link if there's a few other things in the GitHub repository if you are super interested. But um, and if more people are interested, I can do a better walkthrough of how the bot works. Um, it's just something that's it, it, it's more than just a single video to do. Um, but I mean, it's uh, it's all here on GitHub, um, and there's some a basic installation package. Uh, one thing to note. If you want to add a bot to the server that you're personally creating and maintaining, you have to host it somewhere. Um, for a while, we were just hosting it on our like my computer. Uh, eventually, we got the server that uh, someone on the team had that we're using. But just keep that in mind to get this running. You have to pay for something like that. So. Um, yeah, and that's about it. That's how we're using Discord. Again, we've kind of go over the highlights before, but it's just being able to stay in communication with your team as much as possible. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions at all, please leave uh, it in the comments below. I check in quite regularly and be happy to help you with any Discord or like Discord bot related issues that you have. Thanks, guys.